Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Harmon versus Powell. You all have been together three years, engaged about a year and a half. Mr. Harmon, why have you brought your fiance here today? Well, I think she's cheating on me with other men and she's lying and I just can't deal with it. Like, I'm putting my, my whole relationship on the line. I'm fighting for my relationship. She's giving other people attention when we go out and showing other people like, you know, flirting, like here and there, it can be a bartender, she flirts, smiling, want to take selfie pictures. For what, when you got a handsome brother in your face, you know? <laughs> you know. Do you believe it goes beyond flirting? Sometimes, yes. Miss Powell, what yeah. would you like to prove today? Um, I would like to prove that I'm not cheating on him, that I'm, I mean, like, I do have an outgoing personality, I am bubbly and stuff. Do you flirt with other men? I don't think I flirt with other men, no, I don't. I think I just talk too much, and, you know. <laughs> All right, so, Mr. Harmon, if you find out that she's actually cheating, what does that mean for you? If I find out that she's cheating, the marriage is off, I'm not, I'm not buying her nothing else, I'm, I'm moving back to Tennessee. Right now, we relocated to Texas. Because, you know, I want to start off fresh, I want to start over new, so... And you going home to Tennessee? Yes, ma'am. Wow. So, Ms. Powell, his accusations that you are doing more than flirting, that you're actually cheating, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel like he just is judging me and, like, I don't even know who he thinks I am anymore, like... Do you love him? I do. You want to make it work? I do. Don't seem like you're on... Well, what do you love about him? I love everything about him. I love his personality. I love the way he treats me. I love how he just, like, throws me in the air because I'm so small. <laughs> like, I just... I love everything, you know? Like, I just love it. And, um... You have been the... throwing her in the air? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what makes you... No, no, no. no. What no, makes throw a Throw your fiance throw... in the air, wave your hand like you just don't care. You know, all that. That goes together. No. She loves that because I'll look at her <laughs> and I'll catch her in the arms, you know? So... So you a true romantic. I mean, yes. that's... Throwing the love up in the air, I have not even heard of that. I try to make everything work. I try to make the, you know, negative... Yeah, positive. another um, unique story and another reason why I fell in love with him is because one day, you know, me and him were bickering and arguing. I usually go to bed late, but I went to bed early and Zach woke me up and he's like, come here, I got a surprise for you. And I was like, what is it? You know, like, whatever, you know, it's nothing big. And he proceeded to lead me into the bathroom and he had candles lit and he had me a fruit bath. A fruit and all that. bath? <laughs> A fruit bath? Yeah. What's in a fruit bath? Yeah. Strawberries, pineapples, mangoes. There was a bunch of different kinds of fruit in there. Now, Mr. Cutler has lotioned my feet. <laughs> He's rolled my hair. But a fruit bath is a whole nother Let's level, Mr. Cutler. You gotta step yeah. up your game, man. Yeah. You're asking for a lot. I'm, you know, I'm worth it. You worth I'm it? Worth, I'm worth it. All right, okay, we'll see. I mean, how can you not fall in love with a man like that? Right, I know. I do love him, and I still do love him. After everything we've been through, I still love him, and I'm trying to grow. That's why I'm here today, to prove to him that I'm not cheating on him. He thinks I'm out here flirting and just cheating on him all the time, and I guess it is because of, like, you know, the past, you know, I've um, owned up to stuff in the past, whatever, and I've kept it real with him. Okay, you yeah. said that there was something in the past. What yeah. happened in the past? Our ex-boyfriend. Oh, man. Okay, but so... how did you find out that she had been with yeah. her ex? She told me, you know, the truth that she was with her ex. She, uh, she admitted to it that she was with her ex and she cheated. Were you with the ex? Yes, I was. Okay, I mean, and so what did you tell him specifically? I just told him, I said, you know, this has been going on for like two months now, and... Um, two months? It did. Not like me seeing him, but us talking to each other, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So not like that. been not... interacting for two months, and then it culminated with... Yes. A ...sexual contact. Yes. But that's in the past. Right. And I try to push for it, because we're both young and stuff's gonna happen, you know? And okay. I accept that, so... Okay, you're saying with closure, clearly you don't see it that way. Why don't you see it that because way? What is going on now that makes you think something's up? Like, one day she came home, kind of smelled, and smelled like she had man's cologne on. And I was like, where was you really at? Was you really at the grocery store, or was you really with another man? I have an explanation for that. All right, I can't wait to hear it. Okay, well, it was around Valentine's Day, and I was in there smelling men's cologne because I was about to get him a bottle of cologne for Valentine's Day. And I was spraying it, yes. Your Honor, wasn't no cologne in the house, no, no, no shopping bags, no, no evidence, you know? So I'm thinking that she's with another man. So you don't believe she was at the mall? No, I don't. All right. Okay, but, you know, women don't put on men's cologne. Right. They sniff the bottle, oh, body. you know, spray you know the and smell it, but, but they it don't put it on, on your face. Them. No, no, no. But if you do this and you, you put your face into it, so you would smell it. Really? Really. Ron? Re really? Ron. <laughs> Come on, help us out. <laughs> I kind of agree, though. If you spray it and step into it, you'll get some on you. Oh. It's gonna happen. 
All right, if you say so. I'm saying so. Next time you come home with... I did, but... Okay, I did. all right. All right. All, all right. right, so you don't believe her about that. No. What else? I mean, because that, that has a reasonable... I could buy that. She got this, uh... Can I show you on the screen? Sure. Please okay. step over. Okay, one day she was... She was taking a shower. She didn't... She, I guess she forgot that she had her phone in the, in the room. Something popped up on the notification bar. It was like, uh... It says, session expired. Please review. So, I popped on it. It popped this calculator. I clicked on it and I clicked in this code that she used the code, her birthday. Okay. So, I typed it in. And so, when I typed it in, it was this, uh, this gallery. And it said, hidden photos. <laughs> so, I clicked on it. And when I clicked on it, it was, it was a white guy in her. Like, they was out to eat, having fun, Subway. I you know, I asked that. about her. I asked her, well, you know, what's these pictures of? What, what are you doing with another man? She was like, it's just a co-worker from work. Okay, wait, hold on, wait. So this is one of those apps where you hide photos? Yeah, she, I didn't know nothing about it. All right, I'm waiting for this explanation. I'd use that at first. Like, I'd use it at first when me and him first got together because, you know, I'd send pictures. To hide of him. all that stuff. Yeah, whatever. To hide okay. my pictures I was sending him. What kind of pictures were you sending that you need to put in the app, a hidden app? You know, like, just, you know, our pictures. No, I don't. Yeah. Um, were they personal, personal yes, pictures? Yes, Oh, okay, grown folk stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She sent you those pictures? Yeah, little she grown folk before, stuff. Yeah, a little body picture, you know. Step out, <laughs> you, know, you know. What'd she do? Do it with my kid. <laughs> All right, there it is. All right. Yeah. Here's the deal. People with nothing to hide, they don't hide anything. I mean, that's just how we operate. I understand. I get it. Oh, All right, okay. if you'll step yeah. back to your podium. Are there any other reasons, Mr. Harmon, that you believe your fiancé is cheating? Yes, I do. Share them with the court. As one day, you know, I, I was off work that day, so I like to work out a little bit sometimes. Yeah, I can tell. So, before she was asleep, you know, she didn't cook breakfast that morning. I got up early that morning, put on my workout shoes, got to the gym, worked out about a good four or five hours, Came home, when I took out my workout shoes, I was looking around for my sound set, but you know, my sound set, she's like, you're grown, you, you're grown, you don't, I don't keep up with your stuff, you know? So huh. I walked into the bedroom and I seen that it was busted shoes, I was like, you know, I was like, whose shoes are these? These men's shoes or women's shoes? That was men's shoes. Men's okay, shoes. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, when I pulled up at the house, they, when they heard me pull up, dude jetted at the back door and forgot his shoes and slipped my sandals on and went on. That's what I really think happened. What All size right. were your shoes? They was like 11 and a half. These, the, 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 the busted up uh, tennis shoes are the same size as my no, size. they were not. Same size as yours? Yes, they was. Why is some other man's tennis shoes in First your bedroom? Of all, he is not even telling the truth about that. Um, it was a female coworker that came over that day. Okay, Ms. Powell, let me ask this. This do you have good. Do you have any reasonable explanation as to why a coworker would come over and when she leaves, she would take the wrong shoes? No. You have no reasonable explanation for that, because I don't I mean, have one. You have you ever, I have you ever taken the wrong shoes from your friend's house? I, I got to say this. Miss Powell, it does not look good. This does not pass the smell test at all. But it is, though. Like, I'm not lying about it. I have nothing to lie about. Like, we're here. All right. Mr. Harmon, I know you have a witness. Is yes, I do. I, my, my niece is here today to prove that she's been with other men. All right, Ron, would you escort the witness in, yes, please? Yes, ma'am. Could you please state your name for the court? Denisha Fredericks. All right, Ms. Fredericks, what do you know about the allegations of cheating against Ms. Powell? Well, what I know is me and my homegirl went to a barbecue one day and I seen Ashley cheating on my uncle and I didn't like that. I feel like you could find somebody else way better than that. What did you actually see? That she was out there flirting with and having drinks with him and stuff, trying to take him home. I was okay. not trying you were, to take them home, first of all. So you were able to conclude that she was trying to take him home just by looking? I mean, did you hear anything? What yes, did you see? I, yes, I heard. She was like, yeah, we, she was like, yeah, I think y'all should just come to my house tonight. You know, um, my boyfriend, he's going to be gone, then he's going to be gone. He is never gone. Was there any physical contact? Were they holding hands? Were they yes, hugged up? Yes, we were holding hands with him, yes. Did you go and tell your uncle? Yes, I did. All right, Ms. Fredericks, thank you very much. If you would have a seat. All right, Ms. Powell, you're at a barbecue. Is that correct? Yes. It was a group of people. We went in the house to go get some drinks and to go get some air because we were outside and it was hot. Would you admit that you were flirting? No. Hmm. 
All right. Was so it just your bubbly personality? <laughs> I guess. Like, I don't know what they consider flirting. Like, you know, like, I don't know what, I, I don't know. Being with other man, showing other man attention, that's flirting. <laughs> Giving them people attention, that's flirting. I feel like being kind and flirting is two different things. Show me what flirting looks like in your world. I don't know, like, you know, like, hey, how you been today? Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, you know. All right, so, Ms. Powell, you're telling this court that you have not, even though you might be a little friendly, you might be a little flirtatious. You have not had any sexual contact with no, anyone... No, I have not. ...other than Mr. Harmon. Yes, no, I have not. Well, now, in addition to this love suit that we're talking about, you also have a lawsuit against Mr. Harmon. Yes, for $185 for writing my dress. Okay, tell me what that's about. Um, well, one day, I was out with a friend. And um, I proceeded, I guess, not to answer my phone, like, on time for him. And so I ended up coming home that day, and I was getting ready to cook supper, and I smelled the house. I was like, what is burning? Like, is Zach in there cooking? I mean, is Mr. Harmon in there cooking something? Like, what is he cooking? Like, is he burning something? I proceeded to go in the bathroom and find my dress laying there burnt. I was like, what happened to it? You know, he's like, oh, well, um, see, what happened was I got it caught on a cigarette. Wow. This don't look like what no kind cigarette, of cigarette burned cigarette to me. What was that? I know that's what I'm saying. So, I'm here today suing for $185. Do you have a receipt or I do. anything? So, do you think it was intentional? I do. I was going to get married in that dress to him, but... So, that was the dress you were going to get married in? It was. Mr. Harmon, did you burn her dress? Yes, I did. Okay. You set her dress on fire? Yes, I did. Okay. So, it wasn't with the cigarette. Why did you set the dress on fire? Because I was mad. It wasn't... Intentionally, it was, like, out of spite. I wasn't no, that was intense. Yeah, no. right. It was All right. so. What was running through your mind as you're building up? Like you her, her, her seeing her ex boyfriend and her lying to me and her with her co-working the the hidden galleries in the phone like that it gets to me sometimes. You know, I think about it, so I just took it and I just you know set it on fire and it blew up in the flames and I thought about it and I got to stomping it out. <laughs> so when I stomped it out. I just okay. threw it in the bathroom so she can come home look at because it's the first place she go because she's always in that mirror. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, Mr. Harmon, we can't let our emotions get the best of us. You're right. And your claim is for $185.45. Correct. All right. Well, Mr. Harmon, we can understand why you're upset, but, I mean, the bottom line is you can't destroy other people's property. You can't do things like that out of spite. And so this court is <clears throat> going to have to rule in her favor on her claim against you and award her the amount of $185.45. Now, we got to get back to this love suit. This is an engagement on the line. You seem to love each other. To get to the bottom of this, the court is going to call licensed private investigator Jane Holmes. Ron, would you please escort Ms. Holmes into the courtroom? Ms. Holmes. Hey. Ms. Holmes, how are you? How are you? It's good to see you. You've investigated a number of cases involving cheating, haven't you? I have. In this particular case, Ms. Powell was examined by one of your colleagues, is that correct? That's correct. All right. And Ms. Powell was asked a series of questions. The first question that Ms. Powell was asked was, did you have sexual contact with anyone in your home the day Mr. Harmon found a pair of sneakers? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Mr. Harmon, it almost appears that that's a, a sigh of relief for you. Yes, it does. But hold on, we have another question. One more question. Ms. Powell was asked, since October 2015 to the present, Besides the one person Mr. Harmon is aware of, has Miss Powell had sexual contact with anyone else? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector reveal? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. <laughs> All right. Mr. Harmon, she's standing here with tears in her eyes because she's been telling you the truth. What do you need to say to your fiance? That I love you and 
Now it's time to focus on us and only us. Miss Powell, can you do that? Yes. Can you do that? I can. And I would say to you, I use the word with Mr. Cutler. I'm like, I don't want any attention. I want intention. Yeah, I like and that. And if you're naturally attentive to people and polite, then you're gonna have to turn it up and give him some intention so he knows he's your king. Please. And <laughs> you're his queen. It is all for you, baby. I hope so. I love you. I love you, Rachel. All right, this court has resources available to you on how to build that trust, the things you need to do to build that good foundation. And as we say here, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a healthy, happy relationship. Court is adjourned. We're doing great now. Um, we're still living here in Texas and everything. Yeah. Our relationship is real good. Like, it's everything getting better. Is right. You know, everything it's going to take time for yes. trust, but... Yes. You know, it's getting better. But, uh, just want to say thank you, Cooper's Court, again. Thank you, Zach. You're making it... <laughs>